Bedford is a busy town just north of London, and for many years it was home to RAF Cardington, an Air Force base with a long and varied history associated with airships and balloons. It all began over a hundred years ago, when the Short Brothers used the site to build airships. After that, RAF Cardington was used to build barrage balloons, special balloons that were used to defend skies against aircraft attack as well as meteorological research balloons to help measure the weather. Today, Cardington is home to a type of aircraft that you might not see that often in the skies. Can you guess which sort? Airships! And it's all thanks to an exciting technology and engineering powerhouse called hybrid air vehicles. Today's airships use the latest materials technology, carbon composites for strength, and to save weight, and vectoring to form the skin of the airship. To help reduce weight, the airships have no internal structure to keep their shape. They maintain shape from the pressure of the gases used inside the airship. These gases are lighter than air, which enables the airships to lift. Small engines are then used to control speed and direction. They're a lot less harmful to the environment and quieter too. If you live near an airport, that's something you might like. These airships, or hybrid aircraft as they're sometimes called, are named airlanders. They can stay in the air for up to five days at a time, making them cheaper for long flights. As well as carrying cargo, you might think they look like a fun way to go on holiday. Well, they certainly can carry passengers. In fact, a hundred years ago, airships were considered the height of luxury travel. Maybe one day you'll get the chance to travel in one. Time for me to fly. Bye for now. Amy Aviation's British Aeronautics, with support from the Royal Aeronautical Society. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash amy.